Hi, welcome to Equisys Financial Services. We always appreciate your interest in learning stock trading and analysis. And for the next few minutes, we're going to discuss about the trading instrument like equity futures options, where an equity comes into a spot market, and uh, futures and options are generally called as derivative markets. And we have a two variant in options. One is call option and put options when it comes to Indian markets. So uh, when it, you know, we generally recommend people to trade with knowledge and discipline is because we believe trading with knowledge and discipline would maximize their uh, returns. Chances of making money is quite high. Now we see about the trading instruments in detail. Okay, before getting into trading instruments, we have to understand two terms. What is buying now and agreed to buy later? Buying now is like, I'll take an example of buying house. I go to a seller, a house seller. I'm asking him that I want to buy this particular building and I'm ready to pay now and I want this position now itself. It means the ownership has to be transferred right now and I need this position now itself. It is not just a deal. The settlement is also happening by the same time. So this deal is nothing but a spot deal. I can make a different deal also with the same person. Look at this. Now I go to the same seller saying that, sir, I want this building. We can make the deal at the rate of 1 crore, but I will take the delivery only end of this year. And I will pay only end of this year. And you have to give me this home only this end of the year. It means the settlement is happening at a different date and the deal is happening by now. In both the case, the trading is happening now. The both the case deal is happening now. In spot market, deal is happening now, and future market is also deal is happening now. But the settlement of the spot market is end of the day. By today itself, the spot market deal is getting executed. When it comes to future markets, the deal will execute only by the end of the year when it comes to the example we discussed. So in both the case, I'm buying the settlements happening in a different places. So what is equity? Equity is nothing but asset. If you buy equity, you become owner of the company. If you hold the equity certificate, you are the owner of the company. And this certificate in DMAT format, which is kept in NSDL in your account. So the moment you go stand in the spot counter, I mean the equity counter as a buyer side, you have to pay the full cash to the seller and you will get the certificate in your name. So henceforth, whatever the benefit as an owner you should get, you will be getting from the moment you made a deal. So it's nothing but the asset is transferred, the ownership is transferred, the deal is executed, the deal is got settled in the same day. But if you go to a future counter, it is not happening. You just made a contract that I will buy this asset from you on end of this month. And seller is just signed the contract to you saying that I will give you this, I have a rights to sell this to you by this month end. In both the people are not make. Bo you, you both buyer and seller are just making a deal but they are not executing the deals in the same day. It means your, your settlement will execute, the settlement will take place only end of the month. So that's nothing but a future date, that's, we call it as an expiry date or maturity date and it makes a future contracts. But when it comes to future contracts, both buyer and seller having the rights to buy and rights to sell. So both will try to exercise the contracts end of the month. The difference between the executed price till the last minute price is the profit the buyer and seller are going to make. When it comes to options, again it is traded between the buyer and seller. As a buyer of call option, I always get rights. As a seller of option, he always gives rights to the buyer. It means buyer has rights but does not have any obligation and seller has obligation but he does not have any rights what right the buyer is getting if a buyer is getting call if a buyer is getting rights to buy then it comes under a call option if a buyer is getting rights to sell then it become a put option in both the case buyer is getting rights but he does not have any obligation it means buyer has rights to buy at the rate of 2500 is what signed by the seller then anything above 2500 is a profit to the buyer but if price goes below 2500 it is not a profit to the seller wherein if it is a futures it is a profit to the seller because he has a rights to sell but when it comes to options he does not have any rights but why should seller has to sign it because 
while getting the contract i i paid him something called premium for the sake of premium he signed a contract and he gave me rights that right is nothing but a buying right is what i got in case of call option if he signed it for a selling rights then i am a put option buyer and he is a put option seller so just we'll look at how the market generally looks this is a stock market and this is a counter where buyer and seller of infosys stand and they going to bargain in this queue and they going to execute trades anyone who standing in the buyer side here would get the certificate by today evening because it is a spot counter and anyone who is standing here who supposed to deliver the share certificate by today evening but he will get cash by today evening itself it's because it's a spot counter now we look at the future markets i don't want to buy infosys now but i just want to make a deal now then it is wise to go for a future counter because in future counter the settlement is happening not in today's date it is happening in a different date so of 30th april 31st june i mean the 30th june or this uh, 31st october so the deals are getting executed in a different date the same way you can look at so many counters for the infosys we have one counter called this equity counter we have so many counters which is meant for a future counters and this below it's a call option counters and we have the bottom one which is a put option counter say i wanted to have a right to buy infosys at the rate of 3000 then i should go and stand here it means anything above 3000 i'll make money if i expect the price will go above 2500 then i can actually go and stand here but the premium here is very high when compared to the premium here because seller would expect more premium to sign this contract the 2500 contract when compared to the 3500 contracts likewise if someone is expecting the price to go below 2500 then he can be a buyer of 2500 put option because he generally makes money if the price goes below 2500 as well as the premium is concerned always seller receives premium buyer pays premium but buyer get rights and seller give rights to the buyer now we look at the trading perspective now traders view point in what way it is beneficial for the trader as well as the equity is concerned if i am if i am buying infosys in equity today i have to pay cash if it is in futures i don't have to pay cash however i have to pay some cost and deposit to the exchange because end of the day if any loss i should actually take it if i'm not taking it they will take money from my margin number 2 when it comes to equity i am buying asset at the rate of 10 i mean 100 rupees and if it goes to 120 still i have not made 20 rupees profit i have to sell the asset to realize the 20 rupees profit but in futures any increases in price will be given to the buyer on day to day basis price moving from 100 to 101 you are not even close the contract you are still holding the contract but still end of the day you get 1 rupee by the exchange which is taken out from the seller's account it means the profit can be realized on day to day basis when it comes to futures number 3 the investment is not 100% it is only the margin is what you have to pay and when it comes to equity you cannot create short positions if you expect the price to go down for next one month you cannot do anything if you have only with equity markets but this can be executed as a trade if you have a future contracts why do people go for options is because in options you can customize your trading because in options you are not actually making um no you are not actually investing all your money in one shot if you expect price to go above 3000 you can go for 3000 call option if you expect the price to go below 2200 you can go for 2200 put option look at this if you expect the price may not cross anything about 3000 still you can make money using the options it is because you can go and sell call options of 3000 you can make money risk behind futures and option number 1 people think 
was I don't need to pay 100 rupees to buy the stock when it comes to the futures. If it is an equity, I have to invest 100 rupees to invest. When it comes to futures, I have to invest only 20 rupees as a margin. So any 1 rupee increases not 1%, it is actually 5%. But same is true if you lose money as well. When it comes to options, equity becomes zero, which is rarest to rag case. But options becoming zero is very often it happens. So buying in call options and put options should be done only after studying things in detail. So this is only from the learning perspective today you are seeing options. Try to see things in a real life, then execute things in paper, then only you have to get into trading because premium can go to zero because premium has some time value. So now we'll study about the basic terms. Margin is a caution deposit given in the given to the exchange so that you will not default end of the day. MTM is the day-to-day -day price fluctuation you are beneficial or you are supposed to pay to the exchange but it has to be realized in money because if you you made a deal at the rate of 100 as a buyer if the price goes to 90 you are supposed to pay 10 rupees and if price goes to 110 you will be given with 10 rupees in cash it means the profit or loss is realized on day-to-day -day basis just to make sure that you are marked to the market premium premium is nothing but uh, a money given to the seller to sign the contract because the contract is ultimately beneficial to the buyer alone so what is the benefit for the seller it's nothing but a premium and we have expiry date expiry date is nothing but the the future date is what you people have seen when it comes to the uh, the contracts the maturity date the contract is valid till the date i'm i'm buying rights to buy this infosys on this particular date, the like settlement date. In the money, out of the money, probably today stock is trading at the rate of 2500. I go to a seller asking that kindly give me rights to buy at the rate of 2000. It is in the money call option because the seller is going to ask, sir, currently market is trading at the rate of 2500, but you are asking me to give a rights at the rate of 2500. In that case, he going to ask me minimum premium of 500 rupees and along with that, some time value he gonna ask and uh, we have something called news versus action uh, it's nothing but every time you trade trade only based on by seeing what exactly happening never ever follow the market rumors especially call option it's a kind of disclaimers we are saying a lot of SMS people get that you can make 50,000 in you know uh, invest 50,000 today you, by next day it can become 5 lakhs it all can happen but it may not happen to you because it is commercial with a lot of tricky things that are happening it's a false promise made by so many people and physical settlement and cash settlement we have it's when it comes to physical settlement or the last date the 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 asset has to be settled it means if you ask to buy the infosys you will be given with infosys when it comes to cash settlement or a compensation method the last date the compensation will be given to you the difference i made a deal at the rate of 100 now it is 120 20 rupees will be given to you whereas when it comes to uh, physical settlement even if price goes to 120 you will be given with shares and you will be you have to pay 100 rupees only in turn if you want to make money you can sell the shares to the current market price which is trading at 120 still you get 20 rupees so now here we conclude the basic aspects of trading instruments and we Actually, you know, what next is probably now it's time to learn the analysis in detail and hence you can start reading the basics of technical analysis. And if you find this 